Hi, my name is Laura for the Happiness Alliance at happycounts.org and I am going to show you how to use the Happiness Index. This is the first video. In the second video we're going into more detail. We're going to go online and actually create a profile. So this is an overview. So first, to use the Happiness Index you need to go to happycounts.org. There you want to click on the Happiness Index and create your pro personal profile. That's pretty obvious and pretty easy. You've done this a thousand times if you've ever been online, probably pretty routine. You can do it with Facebook or um, you can use your email, whatever you want. Now, once you've done that, click on the next slide, you're going to have the option to take the survey, of course. Um, but if you want to, you can, you can use the survey for a group. Um, that means that you can use it for a state, for a city, for a book group, for a uh, community organization, for anything you want for your team. It's been used in lots of ways and I'm going to show you some of the ways it's been used in future videos. But here we go. Let's say that you want to find how happy your family is or how happy your team is. And when we talk about happiness, of course, we're talking about happiness and a wider measure of well-being. We're looking at a lot of different ways of looking at happiness and what that really means for our lives. And we won't go into that right now, but let's just say you want to create a group. So just go to that tab, My Happiness Groups, and click on Create a Group. It's free. Um, anybody can do it, and lots of people have done it. We've had over 200 people doing it. I'm sorry, over 200 groups using the survey all over the world, actually. So you create your group. Now you want to go ahead and name your group. This here is an example of how I've named my group. Um, I use the survey, of course, for my directors, for my organization. So they've taken the survey. So now I've created my group. I've named it. And now I want to get my URL so that I can send it to them in an email or in a newsletter or even put it on a website and they can link on, they can just, you know, create a link and link to it. So I've got my URL. Or maybe I want to email. Um, I like using the URL better than emailing it um, using the survey because when you use the survey it's a little less personal. But say you want to do that for one reason or another, you can do that. Or you might want to Facebook share it. Now, when they get that URL, they'll also need to create their profile, their personal profile, and then once they've created their profile, they'll have the option of joining your group. So you might want to include that, and it says that when you create your, um, your, your group, it'll say very important, people must create their dot, dot, dot personal profile. So you want to include that information when you send them their URL. All right, so the next thing that you're going to want to know about your group is that you can get your results. Now you may see these little things pop up. All of this information is on the Happy Counts website. If you go to My Happy Community, my, um, you'll see this, this, this presentation. Or if you come take the class, the Happiness Initiative Leadership Training, uh, you'll see, you'll get this information. So you can get this information. It's all online and lots more information about your groups. But I'll be making videos so you can learn more. So you can, now you've got your group. Now as long as at least five people have taken your survey, you can download your group's scores. So you're going to be able to see how your group compares to everybody who's taken the survey since 2011. So that's over 60,000 people and those numbers keep growing. That's why I say over. So it's pretty good information. Now you can see how your group compares, say for example, in social support. Do they feel loved? Do they feel like they have a social safety net? How do they feel compared to everybody else who's ever taken the survey? Or how do they feel about their environment? Because we know environment, right? Our natural environment is really important to our happiness and well-being. Do they feel like they live in a clean and healthy, in a in a clean and healthy environment compared to everybody else. So you can see how your group compares, including um, it compares in terms of their their feelings of happiness and their feelings of whether their life is worth living or not to everybody else. So that, that can be really good information, knowing like what are the strengths and, and what are the places where um, your community or your group is really feeling like they're hurting. So we've got some really good stories about that and how that's really help motivate change in a community, change, positive change in a community, which I'll talk about in future videos. So there, with five people taking your survey, um, and more of course, you can get how your group compares to everybody else. With that, just click. And those, those two are free. We don't ask for any donation on any of that. It's all just out there, and people are using it. 
Now, let's say you want to add some questions because say in your community you want to know what, um, what people value more. Like they, maybe there's a choice. Like uh, maybe you have a choice of whether or not in a space you want to know if people want to leave it a green space or if they would like to see it be developed into uh, high density housing or if they'd rather have it be uh, low income housing or if they'd rather just have it be a park. So you might want to ask that question of your community in um, your neighborhood and then take that to your um, city council or something like that. Or you might have a question if you're in a in a spiritual community, you might want to find out if people, say, come to your place of worship or to your place of um, being in community once a week or once a month, and then see how they compare in their scores to the general population who's taken our survey, or, um, you know, how, how, how their scores in terms of their happiness, in terms of their sense of community, are related to other people in your community who go fewer or more times, something like that. So there's there's different ways you can add those questions, and um, and you can add questions that are scored or quest or open-ended questions, so like big text boxes and little text boxes. Now for adding questions, we ask that you give a donation, and if you can't or can only give partial donation, and um, then just email me, laura at happycounts.org, or info at happycounts.org. That way you get me and my colleagues. Now, as far as the donations go, we're a 100% volunteer organization, but we do have costs. Our survey is hosted on AWS, and it's pretty expensive, especially for a 100% uh, volunteer, purely donation-run organization. So if you can give, it really does make a difference to, to give. All right, so uh, there's that custom module part. And then the next thing that you can do, which is really cool if you love data, which of course I do, is you can do a data dive. This again, we ask for a donation, but you can go ahead and do a data dive. And this is so cool because now you can get your full data set so you can see how every single person has scored on every single question. You can go down and you can do your own searches on different aspects of demographics. So if it says like age or gender or a family size, all of the different demographics. And you can also do it on our platform. So you'll be able to say, um, go in and see how your uh, aspect of demographics, say you want to see how women who are between the ages of 40 and 44 compare to everybody else, and then you want to see how men uh, between the ages of 40 and 44 compare to everybody else. And you can do as many times as you want. You can look at how your group compares to everybody else who's ever taken the survey, and you can do that for time-bound pieces too. So say you want to see you know, how people in 2011 compared to 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. 16, etc. So that's super cool. And again, we ask for donation. And again, if you can't do that or can only do some of it, if you can't, you know, you can only give five or 50 or something like that, just email me um, or at laura at happy counts or info at happy counts.org and, and we'll make sure that you can use that. So that's how to use the happiness index. And I'm going to show you more. We're going to go online and actually create a profile and use the index. But I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you use the survey for your group and please let us know at info at happycounts.org so that we know how you're using it and we can tell stories and um, you know it's really rewarding when, when we can share with each other. Thanks so much and have a happy day!